What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Lonely Planet. Last episode was a doozy. And I'm ready to bring you what I'm sure will probably be another doozy coming at you here. So, uh, strap in. Give your boy a thumbs up. Give me a five on Yelp. Uh, follow all the links down in the description, all that fun stuff. You know, check out my other playthroughs when you finish this. Love to see you on Twitch sometime. Here we go. Drive, drive the buggy. Luckily, it drives very similarly to how things drove on the moon. Is an okay response. Where are you? I managed to salvage her over. I'm heading to the Ark now. Good. See you soon. And Kat, if you need to talk, I'm here. No, I. I'll see you soon. That a working elevator underneath that will bring you right to us. We're waiting for you to go further. Stay safe. That is exactly how you handle that, by the way. Both parties. Kathy is entitled to process this in whatever way she needs to. And Ryan saying, I'm here if you need it, and not pushing her boundaries and suggesting she do anything else after she stately, after she clearly states what she needs is exactly what you want. Perfection on, on all parties, all accounts. We still have a mission to do. We still have to survive this. And so if Kathy needs to focus on the mission and she says that's what she needs, good enough. Good on Ryan for supporting that. Oh shit, is this must be where they came down. Sarah and Ryan's escape pod. This took a beating, glad they made it out in one piece. If they didn't, I would have been dot dot dot. Dad had to give temporary guardianship to me, to my sister, as he traveled to the moon for work. I remember how angry Claire got at my dad. I want to know what that bright thing in the sky was, because it wouldn't be this. It's not the sun, obviously. It wouldn't be Phobos, would it? Like, what is that bright ball? Let me know in the comments if you know, or Twitch chat can tell me, but I can't, I have a hard time believing that would be the sun. Looks artificial? Oh, uh, maybe. Who knows? I, I don't know. It's a little, a little odd. Oh, I wonder if it's the solar panels. I wonder I wonder if it's the um, that giant ship that had the solar panels on it. I wonder if that's it. Because they like have like a link to it and with that many panels reflecting the sun. I don't know. Possible one of Mars moons or a spacecraft they came in on. Yeah, okay. Well, let's see what's going on here. Looks like we got some sort of return rocket, perhaps? All these little, like, igloo-looking things? Ah. 
I love... I just, I love this sound. Like, just, there's no human noise. It's just dead silent on a planet with, like, so little infrastructure. When I was a kid, I used to lay out in the snow in the middle of the winter, and it would be just, like, dead silent in the middle of the night, and I would just lay there and just, like, listen. I just, I love that kind of... I could so easily fall asleep to that. It's definitely spooky in context, I agree. What is this thing? They probably got the sound from NASA. That would be pretty badass if they did. I love that I can get out and explore. This elevator still works. Rickety ass elevator. Hear that, Anonymous. No elevator music, no. Apparently not. What do we have here? Aries Rover. We also had these on the moon. Before I got too sick, Dad used to drive me all around the lunar colony. Doesn't look like these rovers are fle fixable anymore, unfortunately. They look like they've been stripped for parts. Oh shit! You can open up your visor. There's air here. The facility I passed through also still had oxygen. How is that possible? No idea. Where's Sarah? She's, uh, resting. A bit further down. There's a door that you need to hook up to a stream point to go further. I know you might not want to hear it now, but... But Claire is one of the greatest people I've ever met. I know how much she meant to Sarah, and I can't even... I'm so sorry. Let's just... keep going. Alright, so he's got to be careful here. I... He's making that seem like it's about Kathy, and that he cares about her, and he thinks it'd be helpful for her to hear this or whatever, and that's, pro that's probably a part of it. I think there's a part of him that's also very distressed by the fact that Claire died. You got to be really careful 
when you're Ryan in that situation because Kathy made it very clear that she doesn't want to talk about it. And you said, if you'd like to talk to me about it, let me know. So it's on Kathy to approach you. And if your anxiety goes up because Kathy's not approaching you, that's on you to manage. It's not Kathy's responsibility to manage your anxiety about that. If he's struggling in the way that he's struggling about this and needs to talk about it, he could say something to Kathy like, I'm struggling with it. Are you open to talking to me about my experience with it? In which case, Kathy could decide whether she wants to do that or whether she has the capacity for it. But this is Kathy's sister. So saying that at that time in that way after Kathy was already very clear about what she needed is not great. It's not bad. I'm not trying to rag on the dude because I get it. It's, it's tough and everybody's trying to make sense of what's going on. But I really hope that's the last time that he brings this up because he put the ball in Kathy's court when he said, I'm here to listen if you need it. Where is everybody? That's my first question. We just got here and there's nobody here. This place is like completely derelict. You walk very fast, Ryan. And he's not heavy enough to push the pressure plate down, apparently. Hey. We need to get this door. Oh! You okay? We had a really rough landing. Flared up a road injury. I'm fine. You're not. I said I'm fine. We need to find some meds. Can you get the RP hooked up? On it. Boy, so this is one of those scenarios where, like, if Sarah's not okay, she absolutely needs to say she's not okay because we need to know what we're working with here. Like, no, bo no bodies. What is this thing? Love to know what that is. All right, so this has three things of juice. Reduce the power output with this. Should come in handy. Ooh. All right. Okay, that's going to be annoying if I have to go through that every single time. All right, that door is only up a little bit. If I could go prone, let's go through here, I guess, and see what happens. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, if Sarah is, like, legitimately injured to a point where she can't help us on the mission, we've got to know that. Wait a minute, what the hell? Oh, it's just two airlocks. Okay. Yeah, I see, that's an interesting thought, Isaac. I go prone. What? All right, gotta love, gotta love how Ayla can pick that up, and it was never explained ever. Holy shit! Okay, 
Uh. Uh. Now we split. Um, this one, I think, is probably. Oh my god. Alright, hold on. You can't use two splitters at once, apparently. At least it doesn't seem... God damn it. This is going to take me a minute to get used to this. Right, so there's too much power going to that. It needs to have one. My thought was that I can split this again. So you essentially would put that there, and then this guy go two and two. so what I don't understand is why that goes two and two see so you can't you can't power this well, that's interesting that that travels with me Craigums thank you very much for the eight months This is so odd. Cause like, okay. There we go, okay. So then this. There we go, Jesus. Okay. And then this, I just change to that. There we go. Maybe. 
Hey! Holy crap. Wow. So the mind was correct, I just wasn't using the mechanic properly. Slow walk in. Where is everybody? Have you ever seen anything like this? I can't say that I have. It's incredible. It is. What? What is that? Whatever it is, it's important enough that they simply refer to it as the engine. It looks like it's situated in the middle of the bridge, too. It looks active. You think there's people up there? Only one way to find out. Hmm. Elevator's out. Ryan, are there any stream points on that map we can use to hook it up to the emergency power? Uh, yes. That's good news. Well, I've got some bad news, too. The only point seems to be on the top floor. There's a staircase. Going and where's Alex there. Darnold when you need him? But Sarah, are you able to... Sarah, you're putting everybody at risk right now. I guess that's a yes. I don't need a hero right now. I need a team. 85 flights of stairs. My God. Okay, you need to take it easy. <sighs> no, I need to... Look, look, the map said there's a medical wing on the way up. We're gonna find you some painkillers, and then we're gonna get that elevator back up and running. All right? Cat, how's this floor looking? Abandoned. I don't think we should separate. That's not a good idea. We don't have a choice. Be back as fast as I can. Okay, Mzadi. Okay. I mean, just leaving her alone's not great either. I mean, this is a shit sh sandwich all the way around right now. Not a reassuring sign. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, I think that Alex drone is going to be with her. Hopefully, it can communicate with Ayla. Oh man, you okay with splitting up? Might be quicker that way. Hopefully, bro. I mean, sure. So, we're looking for pregabalin, gabapentin, or amitriptyline. Or anything with the words anticonvulsant or narcotic analgesic on it. You're gonna have to just repeat that list if I find something. See you later! Okie dokie, off to a great start. <laughs> Bro! It's fine, Ryan. She always kept me at arm's length. There's something she finds difficult about. She's been having nightmares. Coming here is bringing back some stuff she's had to work through for 
for a long time. Can I be honest with you? Sure. She's afraid of finding your father here. Oh. Really? Duh. Yeah. Of course she is. Why did she come on this mission? She could have just stayed back on Earth, right? Sarah cares. A lot. Too much, even. Stopping that woman from doing her duty to save this world is nearly impossible. Right. These are not very well-trained space people at this point. There is just... This is just not... This is not, I don't know about you guys, but if I'm on Earth, this is not the kind of conversations. I want my pioneers to Mars who are bringing the Ark back. This is not, this is not who I want. This is not what I want. <laughs> oh my God. Like, I mean, I guess it's useful for Kathy to have that information. It's also, I don't know that it's entirely Ryan's place to say it other than if she's had any intentions about it. Of course Sarah has a problem with I This whole thing's been a shit show from the beginning. We should have had all of this ironed out, hashed out at Mission Control back on Earth before we even got on the ship. The fact that we're having these conversations right now after shit went south and we're just on Mars in a derelict spaceship with nobody around while Sarah's fucked up, this whole thing, this is just the, this is how you don't do this. This is how you don't handle a trip to Mars. This is not what I want at all yikes oh man Noted. medical cryopod we also had these special cryopods on the moon specifically designed to accelerate bodily recoveries these ICU rooms are all seemingly decked out with everything we have on earth and then some how though I want to know how OSHA isn't going to like this. I'm not even worried about OSHA at this point. At this point, as a psychologist, I'm worried about the viability of the relationships and the psychology of the people aboard the Ark. We have not done the right kind of prep work here, and everybody left the damn lights on. Medmate, attention, employee ID 271 is exceeding maximum shift length of 10 hours by 7 hours. Please advise employee to sign off. Well, if that doesn't hit home for anybody who works in a hospital or first response right now, I don't know what... <laughs> Seems we have the same standards on Mars that we had on Earth. Sophia's phone, or this is Yara talking to Sophia. Maya and Yuri also got selected. No way! I hope we get first picks of the units too, hee hee. Yeah, this slumber party vibe we're having for years now is kind of wearing off, haha. -ha. When did we have the kickoff again? Friday? Yes. I think Isaac's going to do a speech about the project and give everyone their appointed function. That man hasn't been here for a year and has already spearheaded so much of our progress, it's insane. Are you fangirling over an awkward old engineer? I can just admire the guy, right? And I might have had the first papers up on my wall when I was still at MIT. Haha, <laughs> you dork. Make a note of this. Colonists talk about being a part of my dad's new research team for his new housing project. The one I saw outside while driving up to Habitas? Maybe. Maybe. Where is everybody? Divided we fail, together we succeed. Oh boy. Oh boy. Greater than the sum of its parts. If this isn't some culty shit. Oh boy. <laughs> oh. Oh god. This is, this is, this is a nightmare. This is just such a nightmare. Oh my god. Oh, you don't even get to answer that question, Dave. You don't even get to decide whether you're part of the space cult. You just are. And if you don't like it, we'll blow you out the airlock. <laughs> or you'll be shoveling shit on Mars for the next 
three years. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. All right, what do we got here? This is from Hannah to Sahil Hart. I don't want to be that guy, but are you coming home soon? It won't let us into a later dinner slot if we miss this one. Cave in at Herschel, a really bad one. We lost Munir, Megan is an intensive, and we just stabilized Pierre. Going into surgery in 20 minutes. Oh man, sorry, I didn't know. Hope Munir will be in a better place. I'm so tired. Habibi, that is completely understandable. You're hitting 15 hours now. Rosa's on her 20th now. Even Isaac's here helping out where he can. I don't know why, but he seems very affected by this situation. After the surgery, we've got replacements taking over. Good, so see you in a few hours. I'll grab you some food right now if they'll let me. Habibi? We lost Pierre. On my way. Yikes. Better write that down. Medical officer talks about the hellish shift that they've had after Herschel cave in. They need support as if, as there aren't enough medical professionals. Yes, perhaps William MacArthur should have thought this through. Ooh, what do we have here? Norethisterone. Delay your period by up to 19 days. I don't know that that's what we need. Shelbs, thank you so much. Oh, damn it. Thank you. That was quick, Shelbs. Well done. There's a little bear with a broken heart with some tape. Written in a foreign language. Ik havanji jebens starter danji zelfdacht. I don't know what I just read, but I tried. Right, we gotta look around at these medicines, apparently. Something good over here, huh? We got some band-aids. I mean, we only have as much... I, I have a hard time believing there's a factory that's producing medical grade uh, supplies on Mars. So we... I'm surprised these things are not, like, sealed away and locked up and rationed. What's this? Is that a little photo of my dad in there? This is eerie. Rosa's family photo, oh boy. Whoa, I never knew Rosa's family was so big. They look so happy together. Did Rosa ever leave them? Did Rosa have to leave them all behind on Earth? She might have chosen to. I don't know. I had that many kids. I'd probably bail too. In memoriam. Oh, is that the coin? Look at that. Huggins Research Facility coin. In memoriam. The malfunction. That thing's fried. Oh boy. back to your chambers. Report to your superiors for the graveyard shift. I'd heard you got an Isaac to help you out on this little project. A project I made very clear wasn't going to happen. People need help, William. 
people need to work. If they spend nights here and off the work rosters, it only halts the progress even more. Besides, we need to keep this wing open for pregnancies. Ah yes, all the pregnant women in the colony. Best leave some beds open to them, rather than real people who need real rehabilitation. But I didn't walk in on rehabilitation, did I? What did I walk in on, Rosa? Opposition? Oh boy. This place is collapsing, William. The dust storms are wearing down our walls and roofs. The mutations in Odom speak for themselves. We are cooped up inside on a planet we shouldn't be on. There is no way this will work. We have to return to Earth. These hardships are the cost of evolution and progress. We will push through. After everything that's happened over the past few years, do you seriously think that we're better off here than we were on Earth? Security will be down to put everything back the way it should be in an hour. Yikes. Thanks for the backup. I'm sorry. I don't understand you, Isaac. You hear the same voices in the hallways. We've put years into this place and it's not working. Not enough space, not enough food, not enough progress. Why are you staying quiet? It's just not that simple. People left their families to come here. You left your family to come here. Isn't it time you saw them again? Oh man, I don't think he... Isaac, wait. I'm sorry. Yeah, that... yikes. Not a good move there. I'm guessing that's probably part of the reason that Isaac is struggling is because he wants to go back to him, but he's burned some serious bridges and maybe doesn't have the confidence that they're even going to want to see him. Like, dude's between a rock and a hard place, but ultimately, if this is all failing, William MacArthur is in an ideological space as opposed to a pragmatic one. And if he's surrounded by people that are pragmatic, he's going to be in a world of hurt if they mutiny, which they may have to do. See, the thing is, is William has to maintain perceived power. He doesn't have actual power, he has perceived power. And so when he says security will come in here to rearrange everything, all security has to do is say, this guy sucks and listen to everybody. But that's why he has to work so hard ideologically to get people on board and he has to rule with an iron fist in order to maintain this shit. But William's a knucklehead, man with the way that he's handling this. And I mean, if this is part of his identity at this point, this whole colony's screwed. Unless they literally tie him up, mutiny, and elect a new leader. Pro-union, baby. Uh, workers of Mars need to unionize. Stat. I'll make a note of this. They set up makeshift prison here in the medical of all places. These people were locked up here for all sorts of reasons. Stealing food, violent outbreaks between colonists, sabotage. Oh, boy. How do we know that this is a... Oh, jeez, man. Daniel's phone to Remco. Look, I know it's not like you had a choice in getting Leander locked up, but he didn't do anything drastic. I don't make the rules, man. Right, but you have to see that this is to absolute BS, too. You're a coder. MacArthur's only got you standing guard because you're a big guy. Did you just call me fat? No, you're just, you know, cultivating mass. And I bet the rations aren't cutting it. How are you supposed to cultivate mass on these tiny portions? I can get you two times the rations for a month. I'll have one of the packers added to your shipments. Let Leander go and it's yours. Daniel, bro, come on. I see you're online. Should jot that down. Colonist tries to get their incarcerated friend released by negotiating with a guard. Oh man, oh man, oh man. The hell is this even? Why is this in here? I don't know that I like that. I don't know that I like that the, one of these things is just chilling in here. Ryan, I found an entire section MacArthur transformed into a makeshift prison. 
It's how you send a message. Violence, destruction, stealing. They're all here together. Why would they do this to each other? It doesn't make any sense. Maybe some people didn't feel that way anymore. Maybe. Doesn't make any sense. Kathy, have you been watching the VODs? It makes complete sense why people were doing this. Then MacArthur needs to needs to put people in jail because you use that to send a message to everybody. You don't want to go to jail? Keep working. Marsman issue number three, Utara, written by Conrad and Amira. The veiled city of Utara eclipses the astronauts' wildest imaginations. The Martians reveal their bountiful achievements. No more wars, no more hunger, no more scarcity. A civilization blessed by harmony, unmarked by turmoil or strife as its inhabitants live in complete synchronization with one another. Will the astronaut be accepted as one of their own? Make a note of this. Dude, if we run into Martians in this game... Also, notice how, like, literally this poster is just repeated over and over and over and over and over. There's no diversity to the message here. It is very clear every single place you turn that if you dissent in any kind of way, you are actively going against the needs of everybody. This suggests that there's an observation share here, which is a big yikes. Oh my God, but there's nobody even in the jail. Look how like, I mean, it's decorated, I suppose, but this chair is here for observation. I don't like that. This is bad. This is really, oh boy. All right, so I somehow have to figure out how to get a beam into there. Need a minute. How am I gonna do that? All right, well, I guess we'll find out. Or interrogation, yeah. There's a pharmacy here. Great. I'll circle around and try to find it. Door's locked. But I can hook it up to the stream point to get us in. Great. Do it. says five, so I'm guessing this is not going to work. But we have this little reflector doohickey that basically makes it so that you can reduce the amount of the beam. So... Perhaps... This. This opens. With knowledge we prevail. A 
That's no ordinary ASE button, is it, Ayla? Hmm. How are we supposed to... Uh... Cool. That's pretty handy, Ayla. Got any other tricks up your... sleeve? I, uh, I think I see some medication here. Maybe it has some of that Praga Benton stuff? Huh. Good job. Perfect. This will work. Huh. And these are antidepressants. And a lot of them. Strange. Wasn't living on Mars the dream for these folks? <laughs> no. It's the dream for MacArthur. All right. I think that might be everything we can find here. I'm going to bring these up to Sarah, and then we can figure out a way up. I might have an idea. You want to climb that? Well, it might be the only way if everything else is blocked. You can't go up alone. It's fine. I've climbed worse. Look, I'm the only one that can work the stream point, and you need to go and help Sarah. It's too dangerous. I'll be fine. Just be careful. I will. Him saying that is basically like when people look at people who like women who get postpartum or like men who get depressed after a baby arrives or non-binary folks too. Um, and they're like, why, why are you depressed? Didn't you want a kid? It's like, that's not how depression works, man. Depression doesn't give a shit about why you're there, what you care about, what your intentions are. None of it. Depression does not care. People get depressed even when they're achieving all the things that they thought they wanted to achieve. Now what I am curious about is how to open that door. I also really want to know how to open the door that's down below. Like I'm a little bit bothered that like, can I take this downstairs? God damn it. Why is your leg broken? <laughs> Weren't you training for a 5k? Yeah, right. Something's missing. Maybe I can use the splitter that got me in here. Oh, you can. So there's more stuff I got to grab, apparently. Yep. All ass, Kathy. Book it. Plenty of air in here. I 
need that's a three, so I need one more one more splitter. God damn it, man. Did I really? Oh. Yay! God damn it. I'm an idiot. I should have looked around first before I got ahead of, I got ahead of myself here. I got too excited. Pull the William MacArthur. I did something without thinking about it. And I'm paying for it now. Ugh, what a What a knucklehead I am. All right, so we do this. this your elgato also disapproves oh did my capture card mess up again okay didn't see this in here so we're let's see is there any kind of other stuff we got in here Take this. Okay. I don't want to go through there yet. I want to see what's in that jail cell. So we're going to we're going to do this the long way. We're going to go down here. Boy, hey man. Going to set this guy right here. Set that there for now. Oh, da, 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 da. This better be good. It's better not be some stupid, dumb, idiot thing down here. Because if it is, this is a monumental waste of time. And if I have to bring that freaking, I'm gonna have to bring that like glowy thing down here too. Just watch. I know. I know it's gonna happen. Maybe not. All right, what's going on in here? Whoa. Oh, boy. Mars is a lie. The gang. This is not great. All right, well, I don't, I mean, worth it is kind of a weird phrase to use here, but, oh, yikes. Mars is a lot. Yeah, right? Like, let's get out. Why don't we... Uh, let's just get out of here. Let's go back to the moon. Just need some cans that say beans. It's just beans.
He was in there for a while too. Oh god, yeah. I mean, that was a lot. I'm not not prepared to count that. I would I would love it if there was somebody online who actually did count that. That was a lot. It was a lot of tallies. I wonder if they're using Mars to mean two things. Interesting. An interesting thought. Alrighty. Bad boy need two? Good. Alright. Thank God. Wrong button. Boop. God damn, God damn it. There we go. Okay. Getting real tired of this hallway. Are you serious? It's the dumbest. Okay, uh, now it's going to They engineered all this amazing shit and then they have this convoluted ass way of opening doors. All right. A lot of kids stuff in here. So there were there were probably some kids here at some point which would be freaking wild Osiris tomorrow I am me I've got to make a note of this doesn't seem like any of it was used there's something really haunting about kids toys in an abandoned place like this yet yeah, no shit There you are. Me and about three others have been looking for you. Aren't you a bit too big for that chair? <laughs> these chairs have gone unused for all these years, Isaac. Why is that? A lot of people are fearful of what might happen if they conceive here. Yeah. We still don't know what complications could arise. Humanity evolves because we adapt, not because we stay inert in the face of adversity. If we never try, we'll never know. That's the price we pay. Do you have a family? On Earth? Yes. What do you need, Isaac? <laughs> the, the, the dust storm hit Herschel hard. Uh, until the damage is repaired, we won't have any alloys to continue the housing project. What about Odom? Uh, we're drafting up a ration plan to see us through the next few months, but, uh... It leaked, and people are refusing to work. I'll talk to Rosa. This homeward nonsense has gone on long enough. Well, well, why didn't you let her have the psychiatric ward? She could help people. She didn't try to help people. She tried to find weaknesses in the fence. Oh. But I'll handle Rosa. Oh. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Oh, man. That was the psychiatric wing. I just, oh, my God. This is... The, oh, man. Hate it. I hate it.
Oh boy. Uh, can I make this jump? Ayla, I'm gonna need you to... Yeah! Jeez, man. <laughs> I like how even the climbing is like a puzzle. <laughs> I am like terrified to let go the wrong way. No! He says as he fucking let's go the wrong way. God damn it. Ah, oh, jeez. I hope this padding that we're tearing up, punching holes in, isn't important in the long term. We'll find out. Okay, good. It seems Ryan was was right. This is too dangerous. Let's just go home to Earth. Feels like the gravity's a little inconsistent here. It is. <laughs> All right, Kathy, come on. Kathy is swole, man. Come on. Seriously? Thank you. Oh, God. How is anybody supposed to actually get up here? Like Elden Ring right now. Elden Mars. pretty crazy up there. We just conveniently happen to have one of these guys.
How did she get up here? Guys, why did I just take the long way? I'm gonna get some water. You're right. To the same type of cryo beds that I was in on the moon. Oh. Oh boy. I really tried to fix the MPT with the last bit of helium three there was left. Same bit of helium three that your dad needed to jumpstart the Ark and bring you here. He caused a five year blackout. One man, one choice. It affected everyone. He never intended to cause a blackout. Oh, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Having good intentions isn't hard, Kathy. Plenty of well-intentioned people have single-handedly caused so much destruction. Mm -hmm. The hard part is knowing the difference between what's right and what's wrong. Claire always knew. Just hope you do too. That we're just gonna leave it at that? We're not we're not gonna have a more depth of conversation there? That begs for more depth. You know what this place could really do with? <laughs> more barricades. Oh my god. This is so oh. These are not the people I want. Saving humanity. This almost feels alien? Looks like one hell of a science fiction machine, all right. I think we can safely assume who created this. Yeah, don't shit right. on Kathy because of her Let's dad, dude. Up. Kathy has no part in her father's transgression. I'll see if I can crack the main terminal. Ryan, check if we can use that elevator to bypass the stairway. Got it. What do you want me to do? Maybe you can figure out what this thing actually does? Sure as hell is it meant for flight. Oh boy. Well, I mean, I hope that what Sarah was referencing there is when we find your dad, make a good choice, but like, we need to talk about what that actually means. You can't just leave it on a cliffhanger like that in the conversation. You can just be like, oh, I hope you make the right choice when the time comes because your dad couldn't. <laughs> Like that's, that is useless conversation. Useless. Give me depth, Sarah. Give me depth, Kathy. I'll get that done. Never seen anything like this. Is this simply hydropower or something more advanced? It definitely has dad's signature all over it. Looks like Reactor 4 at Chernobyl. Does anyone know why this water looks so... Pretty? If I recall from my days of college, I think that's plankton. Plankton? Yeah, we used to have beaches that would light up the same way at night. Sure. No, really. We saw it on one of our first trips together. Didn't we, honey? Ayla, you got a readout on the irradiance from these mirrors. If this is what I think it is. 600 watts from a setting sun. That 
less impressive. This looks like a water pump system. It's a closed pipeline that keeps recycling over and over. Why did we not see this green glow? Well, I guess it could be like mirrored. Zara, I think this is the MPT alignment unit for the Ark. We can use it to reconnect with Ark Lagos when we're ready for it. Good. All that plankton. Oh, allergies. There's no way this elevator works. And what makes you so confident? Really? With our track record? We'll see about that. This dream receiver is destroyed. Huh. Till we reconnect our Labos. It's not going anywhere. Then I'm afraid the Panopticon will have to wait. Panopticon. Panopticon. Hey, honey. Panopticon, isn't that a, a term for something like a, a central overlooked tower? Hmm? Never mind. Sarah, get your head in the game. Holy shit. Are you delirious and in shock from your injury? Are you psychologically compromised by the fact that we might find Isaac? What is going on? I can't be having this who huh? shit while we're trying to like survive. I mean, I guess you did just take narcotics. That's a good point. Sarah, can we talk about what you said downstairs? I think that now's not a good time. I need to focus. Oh boy. Okay. I'm in. Come check it out. If I understand their OS, I should get some analytical data if I press this. Are you guys reading what I'm reading? This machine completely converts atmospheric input into the chemical compound of Earth. Conversion efficiency is close to lossless. <sighs> this might be our mother load. I mean, this technology could restore Earth's atmosphere. We could heal our planet. Well, Earth could definitely use a couple of these oversized bad boys. <sighs> Increased oxygen signature. Could that mean? People. Well, then we should go and check it out right away. We need to finish our oh, assessment no. because. But we're losing precious time. For oh, what? Oh, no. To find out what happened. Shouldn't one of us scout ahead? If there are colonists still alive, we have no idea how they'll react to our presence. We need to be prepared. Agreed. Things haven't exactly looked peachy so far. If I could just take the rover, get to the facility, we can use that Kathy. information. We're going over there tomorrow as a team, prepared. I like that call. It's, it's a good call. Very good call. Sarah's right, Cat. We need to get some rest after. After everything. Cat's not gonna listen. Calling we'll it. In the medical wing with some beds. I'll take first watch. You two get some sleep. Oh, she did. Okay. Sarah. Sarah. Wake up. Why the hell did we bring those things with us? What? You know what I'm talking about? The case. The outside.
Oh my god. My heart. There's a good explanation for this. I can't wait to hear it. Please, just get in here. I'll explain everything. Mayla, you've got to get in there somehow. To me. I'm not sure I want to. We had to have some sort of strategy. Oh, well, it would be nice to know in advance that this was going to be it. If only me and Maria knew. We didn't want to alarm anyone. Oh, so when, when would I find out? As soon as you want me to shoot someone's face off? Oh. No, no I was going to tell you. I just, I had to make sure that Kathy wouldn't find out. <laughs> what? Sorry, please. No, 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 no. This is not an anxiety moment. What do you think is gonna happen if we find any of the Lunar Council alive? You think they're just gonna come along peacefully? <laughs> oh but that's why Maria wanted Kathy here to begin with, isn't it? Oh. The least to come peacefully. Yeah. Plan A. This is Plan B. Oh. I know it's a drastic Plan B, and I'm sorry that I didn't tell you. Please, please don't tell Kathy. <laughs> no way! How? <laughs> How are you gonna have me on this? Ah! Oh. Get some rest. <laughs> ah! Oh god! 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 This this is so bad. Let's go. Get back to sleep. In a quick look at me. Holy Christ. Holy Christ. God, this is like the ultimate shit show. I I did not I did not see this go in this direction. Holy crap, man. This is a nightmare. We're apparently at the pole. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. The Geth are going to be here. Oh, jeez. So what, Kathy just took watch and then she's like, all right, I'm out of here. Later, idiots. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. 
Hey, if you're still watching this, whether on YouTube or Twitch, thank you so much for taking the time. I am really grateful that you're here, that you're willing to give this playthrough a go with me. It's been a lot of fun to bring it to you, as big of a shit show as it's been. Got secret guns on the mission. Oh, man. There's no reason not to tell Kathy. So what are you going to do? You're going to just shoot her father out of nowhere and she didn't know you had guns? You're just going to betray her that way? It, it makes... There's literally zero sense to telling Kathy about the guns. Z zero. Or to not telling her. It's, it is utterly ridiculous that they're not considering telling her about this. Absolutely stupid. There's no way my suit can withstand the temperature dr Oh, wow. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh my god, Ken. <laughs> Are you really going to do it? You're really going to chuck him down? Oh, Lord. You should probably at least keep... Oh, wow. Okay. Well... To be very clear, I don't have a problem with them having guns. That is not the thing I have a problem with. The thing I have a problem with is that they're not telling Kathy. Kathy yeeting the guns off the cliff in the direction of the potential people that are here is a really stupid idea. It is a really dumb idea. All she has to do is find that case, pop it open, see guns, go talk to Ryan and Sarah and be like, yo, what the hell is up with the guns in the in the Pelican case? That's what she should do. Taking this here and just chucking them off into the snow? I don't really see any signs of life from here. The facility seems abandoned and pretty beaten up, like the quarry I told you about. I'm gonna go take a closer look. If you find anyone, you don't engage them on your own. Come straight back, understood? I will. There's gotta be something here. Can't move. Is that light, Una? Let's find a way down. That does not look trustworthy. Uh, no. Better find a way down to make it across the ice. How did they construct all this, man? I want. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. I mean, I gotta believe that Claire knew about Plan B, but maybe not. I mean, the amount of withheld information here is just outrageous. Also, how cold is it on the pole of Mars? I, something tells me that this suit is in no way, shape, or form equipped to actually handle the elements that we'd be dealing with if we were up in the snowy part of Mars. Guess we're taking our ice picks and we're gonna climb down. That's my guess. Of 
According to the Google, the temperature on Mars can be as high as 70 Fahrenheit, as low as about negative 225 Fahrenheit. So it's about negative 220 right now? All right, no problem. That's kind of wild that it could be 70 on Mars. I wonder what 70 feels like. Just be on Mars and it's like 70 degrees. You could be out there in shorts and t-shirt. I mean, I know the atmosphere and all that other shit would kill you, but like, that's kind of crazy to think about. All right. I'm gonna have to jump. <laughs> Whoa. going to go so well. Jesus. Oh boy, that's going to be uh Mars is practically balmy compared to the moon's average of -208. Yeah. It helps to have an atmosphere, albeit a small little guy. That's the better way to do that. All right. We're just, this is just, this is just so crazy. I mean, I don't really know what you do otherwise in order to get there. Like, I get that you have to do some crazy shit to get here, but my God. Running out of oxygen. There's no O2 tanks here like there were in the moon. We were good old Rolf. Better haul ass, Kathy. Is that? Is the Pel I wonder if the Pelican case of guns is around here somewhere and you can like find it on the ground. I would love to know. Like, it's just chilling down here. I mean, it's not like we threw it into some really deep crevice. How are you getting on? The facility is surrounded by ice. Making my way across it now. Give me their water bottles. Maybe. How's it going over there? We found something incredible. The missing Ark. It's called Ark Vita. Vita? That sounds familiar. That's not even the incredible thing. Apparently, Vita has a database. Singing happy birthday. <laughs> That's cool. I appreciate that. I'm going to die because I went to go find it, but I appreciate that that's in the game.
Oh shit, we got other ice picks out here. Dude, I'm gonna die because I didn't think about how much oxygen I was gonna need in order to get out here. <laughs> Kathy. So stupidly thought out. Like, yikes, man. That doesn't work. All right. This is good. This is just as good. This is exactly what you want. I was, oh, man. I'm obviously not supposed to go that way. No. Nope. I shall accept grace, or I shall accept death gracefully and with dignity. Because there ain't no way I'm surviving this. The guns are gone, but I can't breathe. <laughs> really? Oh, man. <laughs> really? There's no way that's the way you're supposed to go. No way that's how I was supposed to do that. I do like the little yellow tarps there to help me out. Wow, we actually made it. It's gotta be so cold in here. What kind of insulation do they have in here? At least there's coffee. Oxygen supply still going full bore. Whatever Odin's function was, this data suggests its output was declining drastically. And that highlighted structure, I think that's where we're headed. So it would seem. Tablet ID, Odom distribution, cargo mate. Warning, insufficient supplies for next outgoing shipment. Consult Odom supervisor immediately. Okay. Earth is our home. I want to go home. Oh boy. From Luis to Victoria. They're really not even trying to hide it anymore. Just had three people get in the cart openly talking about the market right in front of my face. No respect. You're the one with the badge. Stop them. Wrong, you're. 
Your. Oh, here we go. You want my advice or not? They're being selfish. Trading that stuff, it's really so spineless and no respect to the other people. If you don't report it, they could throw you in medical. You can, they could throw you in medical. You right? Jesus, the whole ground just shook. Something happened at the main complex. I got to go. Got to make a note of this. Guard of the facility discusses people talking to the cable car to the market Odom until he hears a loud boom. Seems like they were growing food here too, by the looks of it. it. Says here these crops were all affected by unexpected mutations. So you should probably keep your visor open. That's a good idea. I'd be closing that shit up stack. Attention, let this be a clear statement to all warehouse workers. The illegal trading of wares will be punished with incarceration. Oh man, this looks eerie. Are those markings of electrical damage on the locker? I don't like the looks of this. <laughs> yeah, it's been pretty bad all the way through, Kathy. Been pretty bad ever since we got here. I think this is hydroponic farming gear. Okay. Well, let's hope maybe it is. Alfalfa dense calorie block. 50 servings. Best by 2511 2065. Ship to Arcab Living Q zone 3 to 4. And 50 servings in that little bar. So this is what they were growing here. This entire crate was meant to serve 50 people for an entire week. That's way too little. I get why people hoarded the stuff to barter with. So this is where they manufactured the antidepressants themselves. Mass distributed, right along with the food. By the way, pretty sure William MacArthur didn't want people taking antidepressants so that they felt better. Pretty sure William MacArthur wanted people taking antidepressants so their baseline was moved up so they could continue to be more productive. Guarantee you, his, he was not thinking, hey, let's make sure everybody's in good spirits around here. Because otherwise he would have opened the psychiatric wing for Rosa to talk with them while they were taking antidepressants. This is this is merely a way to get people to work. And who knows what kind of antidepressants those people were taking. He, he, so I think this facility was their one-stop shop for water, food, and self-made medical supplies. But most signs indicate they were having a pretty rough time of the last few years. Almost akin to a famine. Yep. Well, we don't know what caused the famine yet, or if he was to blame, right? Captain, I'm, be careful, all right? We can we'll probably do. guess. Keep sending sit reps. Hey, man, guys, I really wish we would have brought weapons so I could protect myself at some point. Wish somebody would have thought of that. It'd be hilarious if she said that. And then Sarah's like, oh, we actually have some. They're in the wait a minute, where'd they go? Well, this ought to be real interesting. <laughs> it was like, it was like, it was like just falling apart. <laughs> Great performance, but I still want that hummus on flatbread. You should have seen that woman who sold it, Isaac. Absolutely the most gorgeous woman in Chile. Really? <laughs> this convention announced, um, you know, before the whole thing. And, um, what was it called? Oh, yeah. 
Beat to bows, or something like Beat to bows. Oh, such a silly name, it's so tasty. <laughs> I bet. <sighs> you know it's crazy what we're doing here, right? What do you mean? You know what I mean. People are starving because of these mutations. Instead, we make antidepressants so people don't think about it. I know. We can't even feed the people, Isaac. Yeah, it's, you know, science. It's an alien thing, really, sometimes. This planet is alien to us. All the time. MacArthur knows that you're organizing these meetings for Homewood. You should be more careful. Someone needs to listen to the people. Give them a voice. Uh, <clears throat> what about the people who, who do want to be in this place? Like you? Don't you want to go back to Earth? Back to your daughters? Of course I want to see this. It's just, it's just no hope. I mean, we're not even welcome back on Earth, you know. <laughs> Saving that planet is a lost cause. You know that. Earth is not a lost cause. We can use the arcs to save it. It's not the planet that I was referring to. You know, never mind. Yeah, it's your relationships okay. with your daughters. Think of these arcs. What? Uh, of course she is. She's with Claire, right? Just, um, I don't even know what she looks like. You know, I, I, don't, I don't know what she's... What she's into, she was so... She was so young when I left. Calm down. Everything's all right. She's probably... I really wanted her to be on that I really did. I just... She couldn't. And... Then I left her. You know? Doesn't care about Claire, apparently. I left her. I'm a bad father. I'm a bad, I'm a bad father. You're not... I know, I'm a bad father. father. I'm a terrible person. I just left... I left my daughter. I left my father, daughter. You're not a bad father, You're not. Why would you do that? It's okay. <laughs> Just... <sighs> Who would leave their daughter? You did. You made a choice. And you regret that choice. There's not a lot you can do to rectify it. But it doesn't necessarily mean anything about you as a person. It's just a terrible decision. <clears throat> you also left Claire there. One could argue he's not a great father to Claire. Okay, let's... <laughs> let's press on and find them. I'm fine, Ayla. Let's go. Dad and Rosa were having a good laugh about food back on Earth until my dad went to a dark place in his mind, calling himself a bad father over and over. Yep. Oh, man. Isaac wants to be here, but he's conflicted about the fact that he left his daughter, and he's guilt-ridden, and... I don't know that there's a lot that's gonna make him feel much better. Good night, Ginger. Thanks again for the raid. I really appreciate it. to Anna. Is HW still on later? We had to push it to tomorrow, but yeah, 1830 at Med Nursery. Rosa gonna be there? Yep. That's why we postponed. She was tied up. Hey, just to be sure, you know it's a uh, shush, shush, hush, hush, right? Of course I know. See you then. Where are you at? We're starting. Paul, you there? Uh-oh. Noted. I'm guessing HW stands for Homeward. No 
noted. Fungi grow cabinets. This seems to be a place where they grew organic components for their self-made medication. This label reads psilocybe semilancieta. Hmm, I I don't know what that is. Penicillin? I don't know. But look at that. We got some greenery in here. I'm guessing Paul got put in medical? Yeah, probably. Oh, those are wacky shrooms. Oh, those are, uh, that's right. What am I talking about? Yeah, that's right. Those are shroom shrooms. Those are shroom shrooms. Psychedelic shrooms, baby. I knew I, the phrase was familiar. It's late. Maybe that's why they were laughing so much. Not a bad theory. It's this. To be fair, you didn't go to school for word nearing. It's, it's you're correct about that, Shelves. You're correct about that. I want to know what this thing is. I want to touch it. I don't think taking psychedelics on Mars is a good idea. I don't think being on Mars at, in general is a good idea. Noted. This coil seems to have been purposely destroyed with great force. Who would do this to their own food and water supply? I don't know. People who are eating shrooms and aren't are malnourished and are on a planet that they can't get off of. I mean, this makes all a lot of sense to me. Let's go home. I can completely understand. Why all of this has gone the way that it's gone. Come on. Oh. Are you serious? William, you're hurting me. And you are hurting all of us. We might not recover from this. I thought many things of you, Rosa. But I did not do this. Whether you planted the bomb is irrelevant. Your words lit the fuse. People will die because of Homeward. Are you serious? People are already dying because of Outward. Do you understand what this attack does <coughs> to our production pipeline? We'll have to shut down several greenhouses. Food production will drop even more than it already has. I abhor what happened here. It hurts us all. But I don't blame them either. They've screamed and shouted, but you've not listened. I know you control Homeward more than you're willing to admit. Call them off, and we might have a chance to make it out of this as a whole. No. No? Oh, here we go. Here we go. You imprisoned us and forced us to leave our families, our homes. If this is what's necessary to shake everyone awake, so be it. If you'll excuse me, I'm needed in medical. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Have Sir, some... that Homeward group set off a bomb here. They destroyed the heating coils used to melt the ice. They attacked their own water supply. Rosa's people. I don't think she was involved, but yeah. They use this water to grow food, drink, bathe, everything. It's just reckless. People at the end of their rope do desperate things to get what they want. That they do. I guess. I thought they were talking about a metaphorical bomb. Sarah. 
Ya. I can respect the uh, the ownership. Timing not great, but we'll take it. I I'm not gonna expect perfection here. They've got liquid water. Oh, there's any number. I mean, I'm sure that William is probably figuring out a way to spin this to make Rosa look like the bad guy. I, I'm, I'm sure he's going to work real hard to do that. Another one of these tables. Through labor we grow. Oh, man. Okay, well, good thing these are waterproof, I guess. Alright, gotta open that shutter. Okay, so that one's got three. We got a two here. Maybe we just need to open this for now. Go from there. Two and three. This one's a three. So. What happens if you beam this into this one? You do two? This is gonna be okay. This is really interesting because if I shoot this, This door needs to open so that this crate falls out. Okay. And then we can do what I just did. There we go. Bye bye. And then move this back here like 
this. Right. There. And this right there. Okay, Ada. Let's go. <laughs> if only I could, Anonymous. If only I could. Oh, shit. All right. Got some floaty bits here. Oh, no. This laptop is toast. From Sander to Bass. Happy Earthian New Year. I just wanted to send you a message again, but it took some time to come up with the right words to send you. I know I've been avoiding you in the living quarters a bit, and I'm sorry, but I had to get my mind straight on all of this. I don't want to lose you. Especially here and now, where we need each other the most. I really wanted to keep doing my best, but I feel like I've lost already. I've lost you to a force that I can't stop from happening, and it hurts me to see you like this. I can see flames in your eyes, and it's bleeding over into your heart. I don't know what to do. I see my brother's shell when I look at you, but not his spirit. I wish we wouldn't be so divided on a matter that is so important, yet is something so apart from our personal bond. We can't talk about this thing that's in between us as we drift further and further apart by it. I wish it was different. I wish we lived in a different place and a different time together. One where we didn't have to face this. One where we didn't feel hate toward each other. I hope that whatever happens, we can make it through together, but I'm very uncertain if we ever actually will. I love you. Damn. I write this down for later. A colonist letter to his brother who's getting more entrenched in the conflict, it seems. Oh boy. Get out of the way, Ayla. Get out of the way. Go. 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 Oh. All right. Easy. <laughs> Yeah, this is probably safe. I'm sure they probably inspected it and it's fine. This is not the time to go rogue, man. It's just not.
I wonder what's over there. And I'm sure you do too. So I guess we'll have to find out in part four. Thank you for watching, friends. Please make sure that you like the video, that you subscribe to the channel, that you leave a comment if you like, and that you follow all the links down in the description. I appreciate you watching these videos. It means a lot to me. And I will catch you in the next one. Listen to this music.